Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in again. If you have been following along, you know that we've got our front bumper on, we've added the winch, we've added the light bar, we've added a bunch of stuff to this truck. Now you can go back and check out all the videos if you haven't been watching, but something came in today to finish off the front end, and that is these. I ordered a couple shackles straight off Amazon. They have really good reviews. Ochmat three quarters, the one we're using. They come in a bunch of different colors. I went with teal. Reason for that is it's gonna match something that's coming in a couple of weeks for this truck. Might give it away for those of you that are kinda of off-roady. If not, stay tuned for that because it's gonna be pretty cool. But as for these, let's get them out of here and put them on the truck. If you're wondering, the working load, it says it all on the box here, can hold up to 10,471 pounds and the actual braking point is over 40,000 pounds. So more than enough for the truck. All right, so inside the box, they come in this plastic bag and inside the plastic bag, you have another plastic bag with your shackles in there. And that's just to keep it, they are painted, so it's to keep it from chipping and bouncing around in the box while the Amazon guy's bringing it to you. And then as well in these packages are the rubber washers. So. That is to basically fill in the gap. You won't have any metal on metal. If they're not quite fitting, you can put these in. Just stops it from bouncing around and swinging because of course, if you're driving down the road with a steel bumper and a steel shackle, it's gonna be banging around if it starts flopping. So that will stop that, keep you from having a bunch of noise. So let's get these out of here, throw them on the truck and see how they look. Okay, so here they are in person. You can see I did get the teal. Looks a little bit off in the garage just because of the lighting, but you can see nice and painted, no chips, no dings and scratches. It comes in the box nice and protected, so it'll look good as soon as you get it out of the box. And then a little bonus is it comes with this little rubber protector on the bottom. So if you are to actually be using these things at some time in your rope or whatever's here, you're not going to damage the paint and you're not gonna wreck anything because all the brunt will be on the little rubber stopper here. And then of course you have your bolt. It's not locking or anything, it does just thread in. And this is where you will put those washers when the time comes. You can see, unthreads nice and easy. And then, this will be a little bit hard probably with two hands, but that'll go right on there, put it through. And then as you can see, they are wider than the ring it's going through. So we'll throw a couple of the washers on there and it stops it from doing this and it'll stop it from swinging because like I said, if this thing swings and metal on metal, it's going to make a bunch of noise when you're driving down the road and that's not what we're looking for. And now as for the rubber washers themselves, they give you four of these fatter ones and four little ones. So I'm thinking by the gap that we had there, I'm probably going to use one fat and one little on each side of the ring and that should fill in the gap pretty well. And just like that, that's how easy it is to get these things on there. I chose to put the top of the thread or the head of the bolt on the outside, just because this steel bumper I have on here is kind of sloped down and it gets a little bit in the way of your fingers for unscrewing this. So if you're going to use it for something, you don't want to have to be struggling with it. You can see it does still swing a little bit, but get that thing nice and tight. And then with the rubber on there, if it was for some reason, you would have to be going really fast for that to swing up. But this rubber thing here will keep the noise down. And then these fit perfectly actually in that eye bolt with one little one and one big one. It won't be wobbling back and forth and knocking side to side as you're driving around as well. So you'll have no noise and it'll look sweet while it's on there. So there you go guys, they're on the truck. Something that takes less than like two minutes per shackle and it just changes the whole look of the front of the truck, adds a bit of color to it. And yes, from here you can see the bumper is still crooked like I mentioned, but we will be fixing that. So stay tuned if you wanna see how I'm gonna do that. I have figured it out. I just haven't got around to doing it. But as for these shackles, they fit perfectly. They look good. Again, they're packaged really well. Got them straight off of Amazon. They come within a week. And that's even up in Canada. So everybody knows our shipping is not like down south and they take a bit to get here, but less than a week. So definitely not complaining about that. They fit well. The washers are spaced perfectly to fill a gap there. So you won't have any rocking and rolling and banging around while you're driving, having fun with these things. And when you're out there and you happen to have to winch yourself out, you definitely aren't going to want them. So you got them there. They look good on the truck. They won't break the bank and 
they're just easy peasy to install so if you like the truck if you like this video make sure to leave us a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos because like i mentioned i did pick teal for a certain reason so something is coming for the truck very soon and that will be going on and you don't want to miss that so stay tuned thanks for watching this video and hopefully we catch you in future ones